The demand for masks is high and here at the National Garment Manufacturing Initiative, they are ensuring individuals will be able to have access. With careful consideration, production started Wednesday on the manager, Lance Brumfield. We did a research first as to select uh, the best type of material. We, we looked even at the, the, the um, size of the droplet of the COVID-19 as to make sure that we are selecting the best fabric, one that's breathable and um, offers a level of comfort because people will be wearing them for, for hours. The masks have been considered helpful in certain circumstances in preventing the further spread of the coronavirus. Brumfield says the only difference between the masks being made locally and the ones being sold in stores is the fabric. Uh, our research um, shows that it's best to use the 100% cotton as for one, uh, um, it's breathable and it filters a lot of, or it's able to filter a lot of um, viruses. It's uh, the same size. It also carries the, the wire on top just as the N95 that would um, shape over the nose. As, as, um, to allow for it to fit comfortably. The National Garment Manufacturing Initiative at Simon Boulevard Center is the only producer in the country. They will then turn over the face mask to the Ministry of Health for distribution. Although it is the first day of production, the sewers carefully operate with their masks on and are separated more than six feet apart in some instances. They all agree though there is work to be done and they are up for it. Terry Andrew, ABS News.